Exilio by the Ralph Amale, a fictional story. I was approached by someone close to Think Spot and asked to come right here a little bit. What are you even talking about? This is Twitter. I had already considered opening a Substack, and I still might do that in <laughs> a Substack. <laughs> okay, pop off king. And I still might do that in conjunction with this, but I liked the guy and said yes. Why not then? I'm in Argentina, host of Death Watch, my daily live stream on the internet. It used to air at night, but I started carrying this site called Nosy during the day, and their main man aired in my old slot. So I just changed the time from afternoon until 10 p.m. EST. Parentheses, fuck the other correct acronym, it's always EST to me. Dude, based? Fuck, daylight saving time, honestly. Do you guys get the joke? He's saying that during daylight saving time, which we are now in, it goes from EST to EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. But he's saying it's still EST to him, because he's a real nigga. Dude, that's so based. Keanu Thompson, yeah. Anthony Cumia, yeah. It's in October in South Carolina. I think ZXV is the only one enjoying this right now. Okay, I will. I will. I. It's if it's in October, I'll go. Yeah, it's, fuck. I'll go to. I'll go to a wedding in October. Are you kidding me? Oh, I forgot on my iPad. You can do this thing. Wait. Okay. Yes. Both things at the same time. Yes. Guys, look. I'm so smart. I have the chat and the and the and the X thing on at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> I've been stuck there ever since. Oh my god. A hide user. Go away. You're blo you're ruining the chat, literally. Um, okay. In a way it's helped. I used to have an ensemble of co-hosts for the nighttime run of the show, but they're all scumbags now. <laughs> okay. You literally are just talking about Gator. In this sick trade, you have to be ready for a turn at any point in time. Private messages leaked, fake private messages leaked, various other incendiary imagery, sneak attacks from supposed friends, the theft of your child via the courts. It's sort of a nasty business. Bro, don't you leak private messages all the time? Ethan, didn't you literally leak my dad's dick pic on your stream? Like you showed it live to everybody to make fun of it? Come on, bro. <laughs> People have to be afraid of you doing that shit. <laughs> um, the pussy has been pretty good, though. Believe it or not, the pussy was fire. <laughs> the pussy was fire. Believe it or not, the pussy was fire in pretty much every case. <laughs> Shakespeare could never, honey. <laughs> um, I only ever truly loved two of the women I ended up bedding. <laughs> bedding? Okay. Bedding throughout this fucking insane bullshit. I'll leave that up for debate. Not because those bitches give a single fuck, but because it's funnier that way. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I moved down here to the lovely city of Buenos, Buenos Aires with family in tow. You know, I'm not perfect, but taking someone's child, leaving while they're out of town, and cutting off any access, knowledge, or photographic evidence of that child is somewhat unsavory. Many people might even call it sadistic. If you hate me online, you would say it's justice, or you might not even know about that salient fact until you read this story. It's all about the mom and the accepted lore at the time. Why is he writing this like he's like in the Goodfellas movie? This is the kill stream, Ethan. It's not that deep. I can remember this woman, Samantha, telling me she didn't know that she was a real woman until I had fucked her brains out about 30 times. Was this when you were 300 pounds or 200? <laughs> Sexual chemistry was always off the charts. If we met even now and there was some drinks, 
And there were some drinks, Ethan. It's called Grammar, sweetie. Look it up. And maybe who knows what all else? She... Maybe who knows what all else? She would fuck me again. I've had her doing every dirty thing you could imagine, and some you wouldn't even want to. Nice. What is to? Is that a preposition? End on a preposition. Good writing. Samantha is his ex-wife, and she felt like she was a man in a woman's body. No joke. Um, in a way, she was the perfect partner for that era of me because she would do whatever I told her to do. <laughs> she was already a slut when I met her. <laughs> this is not ironic, right? Is this real? <laughs> Honestly, iconic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know enough of the lore to know who really he's talking about, but it's just funny. Um, Distinction says, this must be how everyone else feels when Grace does three hours of Andrew Wilson stuff. <laughs> you don't like Ethan Ralph a lot, The fuck, Distinction? You're supposed to be one of my, one of my supporters in my time of need. <clears throat> we both cheated on our partners to kindle our initial romance. Based? So I was basically a dick as well. Damn, it was hot though. Notice, you guys can't see it, but he wrote damn, started the sentence where I capitalized, comma, two spaces. It, capitalized I, was hot. Comma, though. Interesting. I remember the first time we fucked. <laughs> in a in a red roof, roof in off some highway down in the south. So romantic. She asked about a condom, and we both said we were clean and fucked raw right there on the spot for about six hours? Six hours, bro? What? <laughs> Um, it's a long time. He posted all of her news as well. <laughs> oh, this is the wife you revenge for it? <laughs> what a king! <laughs> what, a, what a king. Um, let me see. Uh, I bought a special bottle of champagne and ordered food. Of course you did, Ralph. We both lied to our significant others about where we were. The passion was insane. <coughs> the problem was she was crazy, and obviously I must be a crazy motherfucker to even dedicate this to print. Ethan, writing something on Twitter is not the same as dedicating something to print. This isn't a book. <laughs> oh, ZXV has more delicious lore. No, his baby mama was the revenge porn vid. Later, his ex-wife, he also released revenge porn of. <laughs> she was slutty, yes, but I often wonder how just how much of her mind I fucked up. Sam used to tell me that it turned her on to know I fucked other woman. So I fucked other woman. It's women, even not woman. It seemed like a great setup at the time. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I see it as her self-harming and letting me do those things because she didn't think she was worth a shit. Subsequently, she revealed some alleged molestation from a family member when she was younger. <laughs> Bro is like literally re-traumatizing a molestation victim and he's like, Yeah, you love that. Did Ralph make any money from this novel? <laughs> he claims he was invited to write this by some <laughs> Oh. Mm -mm. She was also separately molested when she was 16. Mm -mm. Looking back now, I see it so clearly. Sam just wanted to be hurt again and again because she thought she wasn't good enough. 
I often consider how I, well, obviously, Ethan, I mean, you really think a girl who hasn't been molested is going to have sex with you? Are you kidding me? I often consider how I pushed her to the wrong side of that instead of the healing side. I could have been the stabilizer and instead I was the chaos agent. Looking back now, I see that all the debauchery wasn't really worth it. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of fun. Fucking a porn star with your girlfriend, coming all over said porn star, and then going to do an interview with the porn star after you had just been inside her pussy. Gross. I mean, it was pure rock star shit to me. Still, another, another uh, capitalization error here. Still, comma, it put more stress. Still, beginning of the sentence, capitalized, comma, it also capitalized. Still, it put more stress on an already stressful relationship. Deep down, I think we just both wanted to be normal and love each other. But the constant push for more hedonism and debauchery was a constant theme, at least in our early days. The sad fact, <laughs> the sad fact she never seemed to understand was, I always thought she was good enough. She was often great, actually. I guess some of this may be down to my own communication skills. I grew up romanticizing, wait, bro, so wait, hang on, hang on, I just realized this. So not only did you find some poor girl who's been molested twice, not once, twice in her life. You had sex with her, you degraded her, you had group sex with her. You, she later revealed to you that she had been molested twice. And then when you broke up, you, you revenge porn her. Gotcha. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Ethan, you might be a twig or two off when it comes to the communication skills. Mon frere. Um, uh, I guess some of this may be down to my own communication skills. I am, I grew up romanticizing. <laughs> There's clips of him threatening to kill her that she privately recorded. <laughs> Uh, the lore. Keep it flowing, ZXV. Um, I grew up romanticizing film and television. <laughs> Distinction says, as long as you're laughing at someone else's pain, you can't cry about your own. That's literally the whole point of this stream. <laughs> Distinction says, Oops, I'm watching myself. Do I look fat? God, the audio is terrible. All right, well, bear with me. <clears throat> Um, I am more of a big gesture type of guy. Oh, you're a big everything type of guy, Ethan. I fuck up or an am asshole. I think you mean am an asshole, not an am asshole. For a period. But this big trip is supposed to show you that I really love you. In fact, this is how we show love. It doesn't land, though. You have to be daily about it. Literal drivel. I have no idea what that means. I fuck up or am an asshole for a period, but this big trip is supposed to show you that I really love you. In fact, that is how I show love. It doesn't land, though. You have to be daily about it. That literally makes no sense. What doesn't land? Your trip? Your love? What the fuck are you talking about? Samantha once told me the best times with you are better than the best times with anyone else I've ever known, but the worst are the worst. So it's not like I'm some innocent motherfucker. We both did drugs, mostly weed, except for her. <laughs> this shit is too good. This shit is too good. I cannot believe he wrote this unironically. Um, we both did drugs, mostly weed except for her LSD trip revelation of familial molestation. <laughs> Catchy. Until she eventually quit. We were going to have a son, and she decided to get serious about all this health bullshit. I wanted to. Before and after she left me here in solitary exile. <laughs> it's not that deep, dude. 
solitary exile. Okay. I had long stretches of sobriety. The one before we finally broke it off was the hardest. All I wanted was to hear anything back from her. I could see her checking her messages. Just send me a picture of our child, I thought. Tell me anything. One word from her could have stopped me from not caring again. When I don't care, I'm a somewhat reckless and dangerous person. All I wanted was one word. I was sober. I was ready for resolution, good or bad. However, it was refused. How long does this go on for? We're... Oh, dude, we're not even a quarter of the way in. <clears throat> Rest is a bit of a blur. Took a bunch of pills. Don't remember much. Had a run-in on acid in some small Mexican town. You just pay a fine here. It's not too bad. Fucked some pussy. Good pussy, but it's sort of empty. Really, Ethan. Really. Casual sex is sort of empty. You should be a philosopher. You can just go buy pussy or at least flirt with it for free. <laughs> I love when he talks about pussy as if it's like an object. Like, oh, there's a pussy. I would like to be inside of that pussy. Like, not to be all feminist, Ethan, but like, they're called women. Women have genitalia that you can put your genitalia into, but they are not just their genitalia. Something wrong with you if you think about it like that. Can you imagine if I was just like, got some dick, it was good dick, but you can get dick anywhere. I mean, like, I get it, but like, I don't know. It's like, I'm just, I'm just in, like envisioning all these like disembodied pussies, like just floating around. You're like, mm, sex with that one. <clears throat> Real women are seen to me as I approach the age of 40, as a goddamn fucking headache. Also, if you spend any time with these whores, <laughs> as I did with Sam, they always come up in your mind, even if just for a second. It's coming off real incel, buddy. Of course, they think about you too, but it's not the same. They laugh about how they stole your child, while you think about that time in London where the sunlight was shining just right on their hair when you snapped the photograph. Google Photos had the courtesy to remind you the other day. Then you think, why couldn't a... What? Then you think, why couldn't a brick have fallen off and done its work on the bitch then and there? <laughs> Based. It's kind of gay, honestly, Ethan. Like, she's laughing about you and you're like, her hair tinkled in the sunlight so beautifully that one day. Grow up. The, like, the extreme, like, um, what do you call that? Just the oscillation between, like, vitriol against women of all ages, and then, like, passionate simpery. It's just, it's, it's a, it's a joy to behold. <laughs> this is making my skin crawl. <laughs> Please, guys, I'm, I'm having such a good time. Hang in there with me. Women seem inherently more evil than men. It's hard for me to 100% hate a former domestic partner. It seems a lot easier for them. The female mind seems to take particular joy in trying to humble their ex. Like, that's, okay, that is true. But, like, also, didn't you release revenge porn on two of your wives? <laughs> I mean, like, probably they did something to deserve that. Like, I don't know the lore, but I'm just saying, dude. <clears throat> If the ex refuses to be humbled, it only motivates them more. Plus, unless you lock these bitches out of everything, you should. They use every single piece of vulnerable information that you've ever given them, along with some fake shit on top, to ruin your life. That is true, a lot of women do do that. I'll, I'll, I, that is true. Anyway, long story, and that's a bit of a teaser. I wrote it to tell you I ended up in Argentina making my own way by accident. Oh, two of his baby mamas, one of which was his wife. Okay, good to know. Uh, there was supposed to be a team of motherfuckers making this work. Please, please, Ethan Ralph, I am on my hands and knees. Please stop using the word motherfuckers in your writing. 
It's just extremely cringe. Please stop. Even if you wrote mofos, that would be better. Like just I, I me having to read the word motherfucker over and over again. Just say people. Just say people. The LSD down here is strong. <laughs> but that's not the answer. Really? The answer is trust no bitch. <laughs> Every word of this is so keto. If you do have to trust one, you will. Minimize all damage possible and leave as little on the record as possible. They're by far the dirtier species. That is true. I'm now sober in one of the biggest party capitals in the world. The fucking Zionists. <laughs> what a non sequitur. <laughs> okay. The fucking Zionists are going to throw us into another war on behalf of Jewish interests. Based. The US election. <laughs> he's, he's just like, he's just going off on random political topics now. <laughs> this is about your baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> the keynote was flowing from his fingers at this point. The US election doesn't even matter. I've got about four civil cases in the US courts over silly shit. Kids stolen from me with no access or updates. Who even gives a shit anymore? Let's just go out fighting. You know what I do have, though? This shitty fucking internet. I have 2024, which promises to be one of the most consequential years of my lifetime. Why? That's not a bullshit line. This time, it really will be. I've got Death Watch. <laughs> is that his, like, is that his, uh... Stage name for the kill stream? Yes, this is new, distinction. This is new. No, 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 this is this is new. I can't scroll up because I'll lose my place, but this is new. This was posted recently. He claimed that a website asked him to write this. <laughs> this is brand new, dude. <clears throat> I've got Death Watch back up off the deathbed, and it's rolling along nicely. I said to someone the other day, who was simping over some bitch who used to suck my dick. Quote, women are like to Toyotas. They come out with a new model every year. Okay, first of all, that was a non sequitur. Secondly, are you quoting yourself in your own essay? What an iconic move. <laughs> also, what is it? Someone who is simping over some bitch who used to suck my dick. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying you have to be like fucking Shakespeare about it, but like, is there any way you could say that a little less like a 13 year old boy would write something? Yeah, it's from April 13th. So like seven days ago. <clears throat> Uh, women are like Toyotas. They come out with a new model every year. They're not hard to find. They almost always aren't special, but always think they are. Some, I assume, are good people, but stressing over some slut is the dumbest thing you can do in life. Which is why I don't do it. Much. You smashed the pussy. Nutted all inside it. Oh, dude, stop! Gross! We get it. You have casual sex, Ethan. God, gross. Their biggest prize they gave to you over and over again with great enthusiasm. I let some bitch in an El Paso strip club suck my dick. Okay. I didn't give you anything other than some money spent on you that you weren't even worth. Whatever. I'm in Argentina. Posted... April 4, April 13th, 2024, 3.6K views. The top comment, ruthless and gritty, but most important, real. Fantastic stuff. Well, that, that was really good, ZXV. I'm really glad I read that. That was hilarious. 
Say the line about nutting again. That was kind of a bar. Let me read it. Let me see. You smash the pussy. Nut it all inside it. The biggest prize that gave to you over and over again with great enthusiasm. I let some bitch in an El Paso strip club suck my dick. I didn't give you anything other than some money spent on you that you weren't even worth. Whatever. I'm in Argentina. Word. Mic drop. Hi, Hornaxer. Tell your father to get a Jew lawyer, dummy. He has a public defender. Because Edon says, so this is after the Mexican girl dumped him. That's why he's so bitter. Also, I can't tell my dad anything. He's in prison. I can't tell him anything. I can't contact him. I mean, it, literally, Hormaxer, if you want, because I have your number, I can text you. You could try to call him in the prison. He'd probably like to hear from somebody. I can't contact him. When I say smash, referring to sex, I say it ironically. Well, you just don't get the Ethan Ways, the Ralph Amale. The Ralph Amale. What a king, what a legend. Exilio. Is that exile in Spanish? I'm just looking through his tweets. No, nothing as good as this recently. Well, that was great. I hope Ben is journaling in a similar fashion right now. Can we get the Ben prison, prison diary? Dear diary, today, some black people harassed me. I went back to my cot, tried not to think about it. I asked God why he hates me so much. And I fell asleep for the third time in a row. <sighs> Honestly, like, I don't even know. I, I don't even know how to feel about him being in prison. Like, obviously I miss him, but it's just like, it's just like, um, I don't know whether being like happy and entertaining is like, I think it's probably the best thing I can do because ain't no bitch ass nigga cop or judge or justice system gonna put me down. Daddy ain't raised no bitch. But still. Thorpe TV, check my community post if you want to hear him talk about a gigolo to F his wife's. Now, go to channel. Community. <laughs> mm. Is this is this TOS appropriate? I'm 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 intrigued to be honest. I'm in, I am intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. I like the way you kiss me. I can tell you miss me. I can tell it hits 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 hits. Send his info to Big Tech. <laughs> Could somebody stream calling in? Oh yeah, N word a couple times is fine. Well, you guys are not gonna be able to see my juicy legs. You go. I'm gonna have to play this on the laptop. Do -do -do. I like the way you kiss me. I can tell you miss me. I can tell it hits, 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 hits. Alright. I'm gonna wrap this up on Ralph. I don't want to wrap it up, guys. I don't want to be by myself. Just kidding. I'm going to watch Instagram Reels until I fall asleep. Uh, What was it? Oh, yeah. ZXV. Okay. Do, do, do. I like the... You kiss me. <laughs> this clip is extremely funny. It better be. Because that's a lot of hype, honestly. All right. Oh. Oh, what's the time? 3.49.50. Okay. I like the way you kiss me. I can tell you miss me. I can tell it hits, hits, hits. All right. 3.49.50. 
You're wrong. Uh, he said, you did no such thing with my daughter. Everyone, fuck off and go to bed. She told me... Also, wait, hang on. Can we just say, like, <clears throat> I have 94 people in chat and it's 1 a.m. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thank you guys for being here. Moment of sincerity. Mommy's very happy to have all of her children back. Can you tell I've been watching a lot of ContraPoints? Making a lot of mommy jokes. Things you would never want repeated. Well, tell her. Tell it, nigga. <laughs> What's he scared of, bro? Like, it's tell either it, that he's going to... He's scared of embarrassing his own daughter. That's the reality, Ralph. That's the only reason he won't you mean, release you mean this shit. Okay, wait, hang on. The context is the wife left him, and he's arguing with the wife's father in the chat. Okay, all right. Got fucked up the ass raw by a Mexican. <laughs> is that is that is that what you're is that what you're talking about? Do you think I'm afraid to talk about things uh, because I'm not? Uh, do you think do you do you think that uh, oh she God. got fucked? Callum, jail, jail. What is your sentence? Electric chair. Fucked up the ass raw with no condom uh, by a Mexican. Uh, do you think that that would be something that I would be afraid to say? Uh, I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Obviously. <She's a> <laughs> uh, and I'll say it right here live on air. Uh, if you think you can shame me or, uh, you know, put me in the ground, you can't. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, and, and, and she enjoyed every minute of it because she's a whore. Um, you know, so I, I can tell some things too. This is so vile to say about your own wife. It is absolutely foul. The one thing I will say, though, is, like, maybe she deserved it. But it, look, even if she did deserve it because she was being a bitch, it's still not a good look to say that, like, she got screwed by a Mexican while she was with you. Because that just makes you look like a cuck. You should, that's what you should call this, the cuck stream, not the kill stream. Ethan Ralph, infamous host of the cuck stream. Brand change! Um, you know that she got fucked up the ass oh. by a fucking Mexican gigolo Mexican? <laughs> with no condom, with no condom by Mexican the way, gigolo. and got fucked up the ass, which is by the way a, a very, you know that that's a risk of AIDS by the way but, <laughs> as a um, risk of AIDS <laughs> um, if you, if you want to if you want me to really start telling shit nigga you really f like why didn't you do that baby cakes just curious like why wouldn't you be doing that if you were with her it's not adding up is this boy math fucked with the wrong person I know there's girl math but is this boy math it seems like it's cuck math to me because I don't give a fuck. Because I don't have a sh I don't have shit to lose. I don't have shit to lose. And um, she definitely got fucked up the ass raw by a Mexican with no condom, and uh, she loved it. So, uh. <laughs> You really this is so messy. Oh my god, so messy. Wasn't this woman like molested? <laughs> oh, brother. Look at how I set up my uh, my iPad though. Isn't this so cute? Oh my god, I literally get off to this shit. Like, look, you can